He's the Tarzan of the Marvel Universe. Let's find out who is Kazar. So how did the son of a British nobleman end up becoming the protector of a prehistoric jungle? Well, that journey began when Kevin's father, Lord Robert Plunder, went on a scientific expedition to Antarctica. While there, he discovered Antarctic vibranium, also known as antimetal, in the Savage Lands, which is a hidden prehistoric jungle in Antarctica. Lord Plunder returned home from his expedition only to find that his wife had died while he was away. He tried to keep his discovery secret, but somehow it got out. He quickly realized that his discovery had placed him and his two sons in danger. So he sent his youngest son, Parnival, into hiding and took his eldest son, Kevin, with him and returned to Antarctica. In the Savage Lands, Kevin and his father were attacked by ape men. His father was killed in the attack, and Kevin only survived due to a saber-toothed tiger named Zabu coming to his rescue. Zabu took in Kevin, protecting him while teaching him to survive the brutal Savage Lands. While learning to survive in the Savage Lands, Kevin developed peak human strength, athleticism, and endurance. He also learned to be an extremely skilled fighter, hunter, and tracker. The tribes of the Savage Lands came to call Kevin Kazar, which means the son of the tiger. As Kazar grew older, more explorers began to discover the Savage Lands. Legends of Kazar and the Savage Lands made their way into the media. After seeing one such report, the X-Men incorrectly assumed Kazar had to be a mutant and traveled to the Savage Lands to see for themselves. Upon their arrival, they were attacked by Swamp Men and Jane Grey was abducted. Kazar just happened to witness the attack and came to the aid of the X-Men and helped them to rescue Jane Grey. Kazar's next encounter with outsiders venturing into the Savage Lands came when Kazar teamed with Daredevil to defeat a man known as the Plunderer. The Plunderer was then revealed to be Kazar's brother, Parnival. Kazar decided to give life and civilization a go and returned to London, bringing along Zabu. Although Kazar tried to adjust to life and civilization, he eventually longed for the Savage Lands and returned home. Now back as the defender of the Savage Lands, Kazar had encounters with intruders like Magneto, Kraven the Hunter, and others. He was later recruited by S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Barbara Morse to help track down Dr. Ted Salas, who had disappeared while working on a super soldier serum for S.H.I.E.L.D. Kazar agreed to help, and he and Zabu accompanied Morse back to the Florida Everglades, where Salas had gone missing. While tracking Salas, Kazar came across the creature Man-Thing, who actually was a transformed Salas. After assisting S.H.I.E.L.D., Kazar returned home to the Savage Lands and found himself having an increasing number of encounters with outsiders coming to the Savage Lands trying to pillage it for its resources. Well, that's the origin of Kazar. With all the world powers in the MCU looking for vibranium, it might not be long till we see Kazar and the Savage Lands. Well, that'll wrap up this video. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.